In this video, we are going to see our first uh, special type of tree, which is B trees. We are going to discuss what are the different properties of B trees. I'll first uh, give you a glimpse of each property and then we are going to summarize it nicely. So the first property is each node is a block containing multiple keys, which is earlier when we had like B trees, AVL trees, usually every node, like every node we had, had just one value. But now each node represents a block, which is like this is one node and this can contain like multiple values. And these values are called keys. And the number of keys that will be present in a B tree uh, is going to be at most 11. So the keys are equal to or less than 11, which means like if this tree has multiple nodes and here L is equal to four, so this node can have four values. Another node can have just two values. Another one can have just one value. Another one can have like three values and so on, but it can never have more than L values. So I just wanted to give you a disclaimer that uh, we are, we'll be using this terminology of L and N <coughs> throughout this entire set of videos, which is L is the number of keys in a node and n is the number of nodes in the tree. So in this particular example, the L is basically four, which is we have four different values, but the number of nodes you can see is three, the one that I've just drawn. Some books follow this other terminology like K and M or P and M, where M is the M array tree. It is exactly the same. So whichever book you are following, it's exactly the same. The concepts are the same. It's just they're using some other variable. So here you have an example of uh, the first property, which is we have all these different keys within a node and here the keys are four. The second property is B trees are N array trees each with each node up to N children, which is N array trees. We already saw that N array trees are trees which have at most N children. So you can have at most N children in an N array tree. Now B trees also follow one of the BS key properties. So it doesn't have two children, but it does follow this property that everything on the left is smaller and everything on the right is greater. So in cases of two nodes, like this was pretty simple because everything on the left was greater, everything on the right was, uh, on the left was lesser and everything on the right was greater. But now since we have n keys uh, so, so, uh, l keys in in a particular node we basically have this convention that everything on the left of this is less there'll be another pointer that points to everything which is in the middle of these two adjacent nodes which is like six and then there's going to be another one which is uh, everything on the right is basically greater than the next node. So let's say if there was another node like uh, another key in this particular tree called uh, 25, then all the values here would be between 7 and 25 and all the values here are greater than 25, which could be like 100 or something like that. Anything is fine. So just to summarize the second property, we have like n children in this, where n will be given to you, l will also be given to you. This is not, an, not a binary tree because it's an n array tree, but it still satisfies one of the BSG properties. The third property is this tree is built bottom up, which is let's say if uh, we had a constraint that L is equal to four, which is the number of keys in our node is exactly four. So that means this node can never exist because this has now five values. So this tree, whenever insertion happens, we are going to see in the next video, like how insertions work, work, but it is built bottom up, which is you first build a node and then you break it, which is you have the split operation to make sure this L equal to four and N equal to uh, four or N equal to some value, like let's say it's five or something, that value is satisfied. And this L is, exactly what we were talking about in the previous video, which was we wanted to make a threshold here, which is uh, we don't want to store more values into a node. So that is the exact meaning of L. So 
let's go to the next property which is property four b trees usually have an order and that order is also the n which is the number of nodes in the children Tree, which is the maximum number of nodes in a uh, maximum number of children in a tree. So when we discussed like n earlier, I, I, I think we should not be using that terminology where n is the number of nodes. n should be used with the order of the tree, which is n is total order of the tree, which has at most n children. So let's say if we have a node here, it can have at most n children. So it's an n ID tree. Now, in case of a BST tree, it's a special case of B tree because now we are kind of ab abstracting the tree. So when N is equal to two, which is, it can have zero, one or two children and L equal to one, which is each node has just one value. So that, that's an example of a BST. The fifth property is all the leaves are at the same depth. So since we are building this tree bottom up, all of the leaves are going to be at the same depth, which is we are first going to add it to one of the leaf elements and then it's going to move up. So the leaves always remain at the same depth, which is they are at the same level. The sixth property is some uh, constraints that are applied to keys, which is keys in this case is L. So in this case, like let's talk uh, in this particular tree, I, I have been given as n equal to three, which is, this is an n array tree. So although it has like two children, it can have one more, but for, for the sake of simplicity, I've just shown two children. Also L is two, which is, it cannot have more than two children in this particular tree. Now this property, which is property six, this basically states that the non-leaf nodes can store up to n minus one elements, which is all the internal nodes can store only up to n minus one keys. So that means like if we have been given n and l, we can calculate how much will be the maximum number of keys stored internally. The next one is leaf nodes have l by two, the minimum number of nodes, uh, nodes or uh, the minimum number of keys that the leaf nodes can store is L by two and the maximum number of keys they can store is L. So unless we are like beginning the tree. Also, all keys are in sorted order, which is like, if you are talking about any particular node, all the keys there are should be in sorted order. The last property is this property of children, which is uh, there are some constraints on how many children a node can have. So a node, the, if the node is a root node, it can have, it, it can be a leaf. That's perfectly fine. Otherwise we can never build this tree. Also, all other nodes have minimum two children and maximum n children. The non-leaf nodes, which are these internal nodes can have seal of n by two minimum children and n as the maximum number of children, which we are going to see very soon. So let's take an example and like apply all these properties. I think then it's going to make more sense. But before we move forward, I just wanted to summarize like one example here and discuss all the properties with this example. So I've just summarized the, all the properties we just covered, which is each node is a block containing multiple keys. So you can see like this node is a block containing multiple keys. This is a block and every everything is a block basically. Next, we have B trees are N array trees of node or they have an order N. So in this case, we are given in the question that N is equal to four and L equal to three. So here, the B tree are N array tree, which means they can have at most four children. So you can see like uh, here, uh, the number of children for each node, like E has two child, O has two child, SUV, this node has four children, but this is satisfying the property. The next one is keys, which is non leaf nodes store up to N minus one keys. So these, all these are non leaf nodes and they can store up to 
three keys so you can see like this has two keys this has one this has one and this has threes the next one is leaf nodes have l divided by two the, the minimum number of keys that are present in a leaf node which is all of these are leaves is l divided by two which is l is three so it will be 1.5 and we take the seal of this number so in this case uh, l is two so so leaf nodes must have at least two two up to three nodes so so leaf nodes can have two or three nodes so you can see like all of these leaf nodes have either one or two so it's like still satisfying that property all keys are in sorted order so again like in this example you can see all nodes have keys that are in sorted order next when we talk about children property the root is a leaf so in this case the root is not a leaf so we don't care or it has two to n children so it has two up to n children so in this case n is basically four so we can see the root has one two and three children so we are good next the non-leaf nodes like these are the non-leaf nodes these have seal n divided by two comma n children which is if we take n divided by two n is two so the leaf nodes can have either two children or up to n children which is four which is these n and q I'm, I'm going to erase this because it's getting very clumsy so you can see like these are the non-leaf nodes our first non-leaf node which is the root has three children so it satisfies this node has two children so it again satisfies this has two and this has one two three and four which is again like satisfying the property so this is how like all the properties are satisfied also all levels are at the same depth we can see that all leaves are at the same depth or the same level finally all data items are stored in leaves uh, you are not going to identify what the data items are but when we are discussing some use case of how this is actually applied to a lot of applications then i'm going to cover like what this data items are stored in a leaf means also like whenever a leaf uh, a node is full then splitting operation occurs which is a new operation earlier we had these rotations in avial trees here we have splits we are going to see some uh, use cases of insertion like how elements are inserted into b, uh, these b trees but before that like uh, i want to terminate this uh, video with a few examples of popularly used b trees so b tree of order n equal to 4 and l equal to 3 is called a 2 3 forged tree or a 2 4 tree so this is a convention that's commonly used and these are the most common types of b trees where 2 3 4 refers to the number of children that a node can have so basically a two three four trees can have either two three or four children also b trees of order n equal to three and l equal to two are called two three trees which is they can have either two children or three children this value l like we are seeing this in small uh, like we are seeing very small values but in case of like actual implementations like this tree is commonly used in file systems we are going to see that in the future but uh, here the l can really get very large which is it can have like even millions of values in a leaf node so basically the height is very small for a b tree but like let's say if you have a l that is much larger like l equal to 10000 so that means in the last level, which is the leaves, we can store 10,000 keys in each node. And that is like how mostly data is stored. Like uh, this is a common use case of B trees. We are not going to discuss that. You need to take a high level class, but we are just going to give you a glimpse of why that is required in one of the use cases later on. So here we, you are shown like two different examples. The first one is of a two, three, four tree. 
where n equal to 4 and l equal to 3. So you can see the maximum items per node is 3. Like the, you can see every node has no more than 3 items. And the maximum children is 4, which is this has 3 children. This has 2, 2, and 4. For a 2, 3, 3, this is an example shown here, which is it has maximum 2 items in a node. You can see this is meeting the threshold. And uh, the non-null children, which is uh, the children which are present, they have maximum three elements. So in this case, it isn't filled too much, but in this case, uh, it has, it can have like up to three children. So you have two children here, two here, and three here. So there's some, still some opportunity to add more elements here because once we add elements like a split is going to occur and then the, uh, we are going to see an example of how insertion works in the next video.